It is a time of year when many citizens are faced with a uniquely Canadian conundrum. They've got the skates, the stick, and the puck, but no rink time. This week, the Mercer Report heads to Gananoque, Ontario for Pondorama, the Thousand Islands Pond Hockey and World Pond Curling Championship, played on the mighty St. Lawrence. When someone yells, Freighter, move the nets. Now I'm joined by event coordinator Lori Higgs. Hello, Lori. How are you? I'm well. Good to see you. You as well. Congratulations. How many people do you think you're going to have out today? Thousands. Really? They thousands. Know you're coming. Thousands of people. Thousands. They're coming out here. There's uh, you got pond hockey. You got a bunch of surfaces. You've got curling. We do. You've got ex NHLers playing. Local celebrities. Members of the community. How many hockey players? We have 20 teams. 20 teams. 20 teams. And how are they all just in the area? Oh, we've got teams actually from the states. Uh, even with the curling, we've got some teams from Texas and uh, South Carolina. That's fantastic. It's wonderful. So what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to have you flood the ice. Uh, I'm going to what? We're going to have you flood the ice. I have to do that? Hold an auger and we're going to make you dig some ice. Oh, good. So we have uh, we have here, we have uh, Mike Duffy's corkscrew. He was nice enough to send it along. That's good. And uh, what are we going to do? Just drill a hole. Drill a hole. OK, is this a trick auger? No. Nope. No? This nope. is the real this thing, is eh? This Brand new. There's a few old NA gellers around, you know. There is. They're strong fellas. Big Where boys. They? Where are they? Probably still in bed. I would say so. There's such a thing as a power on. Yes, there right? is, yes. Like with gas, gas and stuff, and fossil power, fuels, yeah. you yeah. right yeah. through, but we don't do that here. No. Look at that fuck. Come in. Jeez, when you do it, it actually moves down. <laughs> I just keep forgetting to push, right? Yeah, you're not pushing down. Whoa. Hey! hey! This was Alberta, we want to hit oil. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all belong to the Gananoque Fire Department. Yes, it does. Also comes in handy when the curling crowds get unruly. <laughs> What's your name? Hannah. Hello, Hannah. I love the headgear, Hannah. <laughs> Thank you. What's the team you're playing on? Vikings. The Vikings, of course. You ask a silly question, you get the right answer. What are the tips that you have for me? Because I'm going to do this. I've never, I've never curled on a pond before. Honestly, yeah. yelling. I think if you yell, yeah. you'll do way better. Yell how? Just sort of general, like, ah! Not a, yeah. I think we're, we're done for the day. Really? Yes. Yeah, so, so you lost, is what you're saying? <laughs> no, no, we didn't, we didn't lose. We came in second to the team we just played. And now we're joined by Bill Charleslow, and he is an expert in the world of pond curling. Hello, Bill. How are you? Oh, I'm finer than frogs here. <laughs> are you an expert? I'm just saying Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Because you look like an expert. So this is the rock? This is the rock? Right. No. It's made of granite, Rick. It certainly is, isn't it? it it weighs probably 42 to 44 pounds. Right, it certainly does. OK. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> My work is done. <laughs> yeah, boy. Come on. Oh, no, oh, no. What's the term for when it doesn't go all the way down? That's the hog rock, and that's the round of beer that has to be purchased. That's the hog yeah. rock. So I've already bought a round of beer, and I've yeah. only been on the ice for four minutes. Yeah. I can see how this is going to go. That's better. Why can't I get my rock down the ice? Is it because I'm weak? Just technique and, yeah, weak. Yeah. I, mean, I won't sugarcoat it, yeah. Yeah, baby. Another round. And plus, I hit the broom, hit me in the head. OK, Bill, what am I doing? Just hold the broom, Rick. You're the target. OK, right here. Looks good. Looking good. Hey, Rick. Oh, camera. <laughs> you got the button. Is there a big rivalry between red and yellow? Oh, yes. It dates from a few years ago. I bet, eh? I think we're bringing out the French English thing. I see. Yes, That yes. one never Fair goes more. away. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, but later in the beer tent, you'll work it out. Yes. Is Zachary going to be a, a hockey player? Probably. Are you going to be a hockey mom? I will be. Are you Are going to be doomed to a lifetime of 7 a.m., 6 a.m. in yes. hockey rinks yes. all over this area? Very intense. Yeah, are you looking forward to that? Absolutely. Good times. <laughs> Good for you. You're a lucky boy. And now I'm joined ringside by two NHL alumni, Ed Stanaski and Ron Plum. Hello, Ed. How are you? I'm well, Rick. Good to see you out good here. Good to see you. And you, sir? Very good, Rick. Thanks. Very good. Now, we're not wearing skates, right? And why is that? 
we're not. The, the ice has uh, got a few cracks in it, so we'd hate to have somebody, uh, you know, twist an ankle or something like that. So we're gonna we're gonna go with the with the soft shoe to, uh, look today. I see. That seems to be more tiring. It, it, it will be. My it endurance be. is very low. Can I play a net? This is a net. Look at that. They have to aim low, like a conservative attack ad. Aim low, people. This is just like playing softball. It's all coming back. I'm in the outfield going, don't come to me, don't come to me, don't come to me. Whoa! See those reflexes? Awesome. That was awesome. awesome. Two seconds after that ball went by, boom, the leg went up. That's it, I want to retire right now. Yes. I think we might be winning, I'm not exactly sure. Yes. Oh, yes. Really have to retire right now. Good job, buddy. Good job. Nice start, kid. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. There, good job. Good job. You're a stalwart, kid. Ooh, good job. One. From Ganonokwe. Yeah. Yeah.